Hey guys, it's Sean from Solace Review. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be going over the XM Dark Phoenix statue. I have been itching to get this lady in the house for years before I even started collecting statues. And uh, today we're going to take a look, see what all the uh, hype's been for me for years. Jean Grey, Dark Phoenix, has uh, a good personal connection for me. Um, my daughter, who is uh, nine now, I named her after Jean Grey. Uh, her middle name is Grey. And uh, so to me, the character has always had a, a, a connection there. Uh, for my daughter, the same thing. She's always thought Jean Grey was her favorite character, go figure. Uh, so she was super excited to ever see pictures of this statue. Um, I wanted it because of that association. When she saw it, she went bananas wanting it. Um, I promised it for years for her, but uh, as I'm sure you guys all know, there was always another deal that would come up, something that would grab my attention, pull me in another way, and I'll move, I'll get back to, uh, the Dark Phoenix when it's the right deal. Well, even though I uh, wasn't necessarily in a position to buy it, the right deal came along um, way below retail before even shipping like $500 off retail. And it's in near perfect condition. So uh, it was the time and I'm so so happy to have it. It's my second XM piece. Uh, my first one was Venom, and uh, God, I love that piece still. This is so different for me. Uh, I believe they retailed about the same. Uh, if I remember right, it was like uh, $12.99 SGD. Uh, all in all, though, I remember they were right around uh, the same when it was retail. Now, uh, Venom is above retail, and so is Dark Phoenix, quite a bit above retail. I mean, we all understand XM is, is a privilege to own, but uh, you could see Dark Phoenix right now on uh, evil eBay prices for well over two grand. Uh, so um, I was really happy when the right deal came along on an online purchase. Um, so yeah, I jumped on it, very happy. Um, and, uh, okay, so, uh, Jean Grey was one of the original, uh, X-Men, uh, she had always had, a um, telekinetic psychic abilities, and then when the Phoenix Force came in, she developed pyrokinetic and telekinetic and psychic abilities. Uh, Dark Phoenix was, if I remember right, the first uh, version of her before uh, she gained uh, control of the Phoenix, uh, somewhat control. Uh, and then you can tell the difference between Dark Phoenix and regular Phoenix because Dark Phoenix has a red uniform, regular Phoenix has a green uniform. Um, so yeah, there was a, uh, in the last few years, there was a X-Men movie on Dark Phoenix, which was uh, something you probably don't want to take any time to really watch, but if you are a fan, you, uh, you might have caught a few things that you really enjoyed from it. So, uh, let's take a look here. Uh, we're going to start off at the base, work our way up like we normally do. Uh, I believe the height is, uh, I know I gotta get a measuring tape out of my garage next time I do these videos, uh, and, uh, do one of the, uh, the gem mint ways of measuring here, but, uh, I believe it's 28 inches, if I remember right. Um, it's a very light, uh, statue. I don't remember the weight on it, but the package all together with box was, uh, under 40. Uh, it is uh, probably the lightest in the bird, which makes sense, and then heaviest for base and gene. Um, it comes with three switch out heads, um, all really cool actually. They, uh, they kind of take it in a unique direction story-wise, so 
Uh, it goes progressively from calm, beautiful Jean to I'm using my powers, white eyed with a little furrow in the hair Jean, and then goes to full on crazy pyrokinetic hair. Uh, now, this one is probably the face that I'm always going to pose, actually. So the base has a uh, dark lava rocky look with uh, some mud in between the rocks. I don't really understand the mud, I guess, so much. Maybe while she's like pulling lava out of the earth or something, there's mud with it, but uh, I like the the rocks. Um, they do look like obsidian. Uh, they have kind of a lava flex in them. To me, that look that part looks good. It's engaging. I could see maybe how somebody might think that the the rock paint might be a little bit flat, but I think it works for obsidian. It's a, it's got a little bit of a, a shine to it. The mud though, in between some of the things at the bottom, I, I don't I don't know what that is. They think they could have just gone with more. Uh, fire effects there, personally. Uh, then moving up here with the uh, flames. Uh, you know, I, I've not seen the Ghost XM Ghost Rider in person, but I heard that they took a lot of lessons from that piece. Um, this is my first piece with um, really flames, but uh, I have a the dark side premium format, but that doesn't actually have flames. It has like painted on color onto like rocky landscape. So this is the first flames piece I've had. I think they're really cool. Um, I think that uh, maybe they don't translate as well in person in normal natural light as, that I, as I would have hoped. Um, I have an imagining that I think it would have looked really cool possibly with some sort of a clear resin, but I'm sure that would bring in a lot of design issues as far as um, the structural capabilities of, with the Phoenix and seeing things through it. So I, I get it, and I'm very happy still with what they had going on here. Uh, now, looking at uh, the flame, so putting the flames throughout the piece was, uh, it wasn't complicated, Mine was second-hand, it didn't come with the instructions. I was able to put it together in a really short amount of time. Uh, it wasn't an issue. It's just a large piece on this side, large piece on that side. Phoenix, two wings. The wings are very light, but it, there is some weird stability things. I think it's gonna do fine, but uh, moving it, you wanna be really careful. Um, there's a few small pieces that go into our leg and on our hip, and then the rest of them are sculpted in. Uh, the belt is a cool add on there, uh, but I diverge from what I'm talking about here. Uh, speaking of the fire, there are uh, some pretty serious uh, scenes on the back here where the Phoenix comes out, uh, right here where the Phoenix wings connect. It is there, it is obvious. The statue still looks phenomenal. I love it, uh, and I'm very, very happy with it. Now, um, okay, I considered the Phoenix kind of a part of the base when I was talking about it. Now, speaking of Jean here, the uniform looks beautiful, it looks great. Uh, I love the gold. Uh, the red has kind of, uh, it has textures to some areas, and some, some areas are smooth, some areas have some texture, so I think it brings kind of a nice look here. The phoenix symbol has stitching, um, so that's cool. It looks great to me. Uh, it looks like a suit would, I would imagine, uh, for an X-Men. Uh, now, let's see. Looking at this, okay, um, is it accurate to the comic? I would say, yeah, uh, hell yeah. I mean, it it looks 
solid on for me. I'm very happy with uh, its representation that it's bringing from the comic back in. It looks like Jean Grey, there's no question. Uh, anatomy looks great, you can see muscularity. Uh, she is my first female character that I've ever owned and she looks gorgeous to me and I'm loving what's going on here. I've had several people comment on the uh, on the butt. It's, it's a good design. Um, yeah, I really feel like they did a fantastic job. One thing that stuck out to me was where she keys in. So there's a key and then uh, she just rests on her back foot here. The key was really uh, difficult to get in. I actually had to uh, slightly wiggle them down. And you can see from the previous person that owned it that there's a minor amount of paint damage in there where the uh, foot has rubbed slightly on the flame. I put a picture at the beginning of the review here that you'll be able to see that damage. It's very minor. Um, you would have to turn her around and really look down there to even see anything. I'm not worried about it, but uh, it, uh, to me, that's an engineering problem for sure. Um, okay, so beyond that, uh, paint I went over, looks fantastic. Uh, the parts uh, where it connected were all uh, strong magnets. Everything uh, made sense for what was uh, connected. Um, I went over the engineering on the wing you know, the wings have been pretty solidly in there. I'm not really worried about that. The more worry I have is at the back where the tail connects. But uh, like I said, if it's still, I think it's just fine. Um, all in all, um, when this is in its position in the collection and the lighting is on, I have like a red fire lighting that really catches on the on the flames. And the, uh, I'll put that picture into the video at the beginning and the end here. But uh, it wow it just really comes out uh, it really it draws you in um everybody in the house just stopped and we're like wow it just took a minute to really look at this sculpture it, it became for most of the house their favorite piece instantly um i love when that happens when when a statue really grabs people um to me that that's what it's all about is it's the wow, the, the taking you in the moment, that, that awe that can happen with these. Um, okay, well, that's gonna be it, guys. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch the review. Please like and subscribe. We need that to uh, help get the channel going as much as possible. I'm gonna keep doing videos, and uh, I will see you next time. This is Sean from Saul's Review. Have a great day.